I'm Tony King with Zerion, and we're here today to give you a tip for Active and Eclipse on how to audit an item on a ticket within eTerm and Solar. Many times users get frustrated with pricing on sales tickets since they don't know where the pricing actually came from within the matrix. Rather than looking into the matrix one cell at a time, you can actually go directly from a sales order and audit that in particular price for that customer and that item. I'm in a sales order within Eclipse and I have put one item onto a ticket and it has come up with a unit price of $102. I'm not sure why it's come up with $102 and I'm questioning it so instead of going back to the quick sell matrix or to the sell matrix and figuring it out one matrix at a time I can actually go directly from the sales order to a pricing audit and see exactly where it grabbed the current price. Within eTerm, I can go to the inquiry hotkey and within the inquiries option, I can go to the additional inquiries. And within the additional sales order inquiries, I can go to the audit option. Inside of the audit, it gives me a detailed report of all the steps that Eclipse went through in order to calculate what the price should be for that customer and that item. If you scroll down through this particular report, it will tell you exactly where the price derived from. Moving over to Solar, if we go into a, a sales order within Solar, I'm in the body screen of a solar sales ticket. I'll make that a little bigger. And you'll notice that I've got $23.96 for this price, for this individual item, for this customer. If I wanted to check up on that, all I do is go to inquiries and go down to pricing audit and the pricing audit will give me the same report that I saw within eTerm. It will show me all of the steps that Eclipse went through to derive the current price for this item and this customer. Okay. Thanks for watching Zerion's tip of the day on Active and Eclipse pricing audit within eTerm and Solar.